Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, January the 15th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and if you enjoyed yesterday, I think you're going to enjoy today too. Let's take a look at the Skycam network from Alpha, and there's a look at Birmingham. Beautiful colors this morning as the sun is peeking over the horizon. Not quite yet, but uh, will be in just a few minutes. And there's a look at uh, the Skycam from Fayette. Uh, we can see a clear sky and a beautiful courthouse over there. We had uh, a bit of a cold front. Well, I'm stretching it by saying a cold front. We had a wind shift that kind of moved through uh, overnight, uh, but it's uh, very hard to find in the data But other than a wind shift. But I think uh, just enough of a change that we'll see temperatures about the same as yesterday with high pressure settling in. We're gradually getting under or getting out from under the trough and getting under the ridge that's coming from our west and that will help to warm things up very nicely. Relatively mild across the southern tier of the United States but still extremely cold over there in southeastern Canada and down into New England and across central Alabama you can see that uh, we are a bit warmer than we've been for the last couple of days. Got down into the lower 20s with some teens yesterday and this morning uh, we're just a little below freezing so just a little bit milder. Milder trend continuing for the next couple of days. QPF indicating uh, on the order of about a half inch, and most of that is expected to come on Tuesday. Storm Prediction Center uh, is not outlooking a specific area, but they are outlooking sort of centered on Memphis across parts of Kentucky, Missouri, uh, Arkansas, Tennessee, extreme northwestern uh, Alabama, and the uh, northern part of Mississippi, and down into actually a little bit of northeastern Texas. Uh, watching that, but it looks like uh, just uh, not not quite everything coming together, uh, but certainly something that we will watch for. And this is, by the way, day two. So this is uh, for uh, Monday. All right, the 06E GFS model run, and uh, that's the primary one. We'll look at the NAM and the uh, um, European here, too. And uh, the NAM also 06, the European, uh, the 0Z run. And there's our surface high. You can see the cold air. Uh, centered pretty much over New England and beginning to vacate the southeastern U.S. The ridge becomes a little bit stronger as the trough deepens over our to our west, and that deepening of that trough uh, pumps up the ridge a little bit and increases our southwesterly flow. And as you can see, we begin to uh, see a little moisture return off to our west on Monday. But I again, I think Monday we stay uh, dry here. Tuesday. The trough moves uh, in across the central U.S., and as it does, it will drag a front down into the area as the surface low moves up into the eastern Great Lakes. Now let's take a look here at the European. European in pretty good agreement. Yesterday there was a little bit of difference between the two, but today uh, they're both in pretty good agreement with uh, the front coming into, uh, this is 18Z, the front coming into Alabama about that time. And then let's uh, go ahead and take a look at the NAM. The NAM also in pretty good agreement. We see the low, the surface low over the eastern Great Lakes with the cold front trailing down into extreme northeastern um, Mississippi. And so uh, models in pretty good agreement on the timing of the situation. Now the trough zips on by and you can see the trough over southern New England. And uh, so that should help to clear us out and cool us off. There's the 540 line coming down. Uh, into the vicinity of the Tennessee River Valley. We stay dry on Thursday as well, uh, but already Thursday you can see the 540 line retreating northward as we begin to warm up and the flow becomes more zonal. Here's Friday and we've got a little short wave moving across the, uh, parts of um, Kansas and Oklahoma there. You can see that little short wave. Now the question is going to be moisture. Well, moisture is beginning to return. And so I think Friday will be a dry day for us, but some moisture beginning to return back into uh, Louisiana and uh, Arkansas. So I think, it uh, again, it be, we stay dry and we warm up. Now the little trough comes by fairly quickly as the flow pattern is, while zonal, the flow pattern is uh, fairly fast. So this is Saturday. There's the shortwave trough right over the southern Appalachians. And uh, that uh, with moisture coming back from the Gulf of Mexico, we're going to get into a, a scattered, isolated to scattered shower situation for Saturday, but we should be nicely warmed up by then. 
And then finally, uh, on the main seven-day forecast, you can see that we, the uh, trough begins to really deepen out to our west. And as that trough does, as another that that another trough comes in back there, then we pump up the ridge over the eastern half of the country. And what that means is that we should warm up very nicely. Notice the 540 line completely out of the country, up into Canada, uh, with a surface low approaching the western Great Lakes. And uh, we're just in a situation where, once again, I think it's going to be isolated showers. I think for the most part we stay pretty dry, but moisture coming out of the Pacific. And let's just go a little bit further. And I know we're edging into voodoo country right here, but there is Monday the 23rd, and certainly... Uh, in uh, response to that deepening trough uh, over the Rockies, as it moves out, we get a good moisture return, and that brings us a wet day on the 23rd, it appears likely, with uh, some cold air coming in. And uh, also uh, notice that there's a good deal of that moisture coming in behind uh, the 540 line, so it, not for us, but at least for somebody the possibility of some winter weather. Now let's go out into Voodoo a little bit further. And uh, the pattern, uh, I think the one thing we need to take from the GFS right now is that the pattern stays very active. And here comes another trough. But notice notice it's uh, there's no real amplitude to it. We've got two big troughs, one over uh, eastern Canada and one over western Canada. But they're very far to our north. And in the meantime, in the southern flow, we have another trough over uh, Kansas and the Texas panhandle. So that, that means that we stay relatively mild. But then, once again, around the end of the month at the 30th, you can see that we do see a trough digging into the uh, eastern part of the country. And as that trough does, of course, that's going to open the gates from uh, way up there in northern Canada. And so it looks like uh, an, another shot of some cold air uh, coming our way. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for today. James Spann should be back with the next edition first thing tomorrow morning. If you are local to us here in uh, the central Alabama, be sure to catch the news and weather on ABC 3340 at uh, 5 and 10 today, and I'll be presenting the weather there. So in the meantime, I hope that your day is a good one and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.